in stall camp, living on the wall. We're done commuting. We're gonna commit to the wall. We've got two ledges. I'm kind of keen on the most free climbable features. Plan for today is to go down and belay Honol. My goal here is sort of just to free climb as much as I can. So if that means that I come just behind everybody, as long as I'm actually climbing, that's more important to me than, than pushing our high point. No, I don't think I'd ever met Mark before this trip. Alex Honnold was somebody that I didn't know. It's a really interesting dynamic mentorship. Teach him, you know, how we go about doing like these, these types of, of pioneering first ascents. But I'm learning a lot of stuff from him too because he's such an amazingly talented climber. Over the years is like the longer that I've climbed, kind of the more cautious I become. Every year I kind of reel it in a little more and a little more and a little more. Now I'm going out with this guy who's kind of like the opposite of that. He's like letting the line out, letting it out a little more, a little more. It's 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 been good in that it's it's helping me to realize that like I can't reel it in too much. Crazy location where you're a thousand feet off the ground in the middle of nowhere. Like you, you kind of have to go for it in this sport. Well, I mean, I knew there wouldn't be that much gear. I worried that I might land on top of Mark if I fell. It was a little scary around lead. It was sick. On, Mark. Preserving your safety and all that. <laughs> I try so hard. But at the same time, um, kind of preserving like that, that, that spirit of, of adventure and going for it, which is right at the essence. Come on, over. <laughs> yeah, dude. And you didn't even get pumped. I don't know. I numbed out, though. It's like a nice climbing.